we're going to mod the air compressor. So today we're going to be hooking up an auto drain to keep the water out of it automatically. I'm tired of going way down there and laying down on the ground and letting the water out of it. Because if you let the water accumulate and it corrodes your compressor, you can have an explosion that'll rip your legs off or cut you in two. So this is the model we're going to be installing. It's the Ingersoll Rand ENL5. This particular model doesn't use any air to drain, so you don't lose air over time. This is what it looks like. Made in Germany. It's good to 230 PSI. So that's the inlet and the outlet is here. So you plug it in and when this fills full of water it actuates the drain the water drains. Keeping your air compressor 100% free of water at all times. Simple plumbing. We'll use this fitting on the compressor. We'll go from the compressor to the auto drain and then we have a reducing bushing for the auto drain. Plug it in and done. And now we got to crawl underneath and hook that up on that bung right there. Okay, we got the fitting spun on. Here it is all hooked up. You can put a piece of tubing on there for... Here it is all hooked up. You can put a piece of tubing on the drain to draw it out of your shop if you want to. You just plug the plug in, wait for water to accumulate. And it comes out all on its own, keeping your compressor water-free at all times. All right, it's been a few days of using the compressor. Working perfect. We've installed some bumpers to keep from hitting it. These are half-inch 13 redheads down into the cement with some all-thread and tubing. That way if you bump it with your foot or a cart or something, I've got it back in the corner here so you shouldn't be walking past here too much, but that's just in case because it is hanging out from the side of the compressor. There's an alarm on it if it fills with water and the solenoid gets stuck or clogged up, it starts beeping. Right now, it says the power's on. There's a test button that opens the solenoid and lets water and air out. So you can check and see if the solenoid's working. Wonderful. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. David Domenesi, take it easy.